it comes, and it's, and it's... It's too close to call. I don't too believe it. Too close I don't to call. It. The most spectacular, amazing, unequivocally unbelievable ending in the history of the world. And we don't even know who won. What did we just watch? Holy cow, that, that was an incredible race. Um, uh, 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 it was, it was that, that was our finish. Oh Lord, Atlanta, you, you may have found a place to stay in our hearts because Wow, what a finish we had today. Um, what a finish. What a race. I mean, that was a start-to-finish great race. Eh, let's say start-to-finish. After lap five. Uh, after lap five to finish. Great race. Oh, my goodness, what a race. That was incredible. Um, there are so many things to talk about, and we're going to talk about all of them. Um, so welcome in, everybody. If you haven't already figured out who I am, this is Ryan with uh, Race Graze or Ryan, uh, RS Diecast. Both of them, I, it's all mine. I, I did it all. So anyway, um, welcome in. Uh, we're talking about Atlanta, and we're doing a little different style video. Never done one of these before, so let's see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that was our finish. Uh, that was incredible, and we're going to be talking about all the different parts and pieces of this race. I mean, come on. This? This belongs on a poster. Just... Legendary. I hit my mic. Whoops. All right. Anyway, um, yeah, so what a great race. That was so much fun to watch. I was just shouting as they came off turn four. I'm like, they're going to be three wide. And that's exactly what they were. So sorry I wasn't able to stream. My voice is still a little under the weather. I've been trying to get it back. I did post a video today. If you guys haven't checked it out already, it was um, the wave four from the winter circle. And the voice is pretty tough in there, so you might notice that. It's still a little tough now. Uh, hopefully by next week I'm all back to normal. But what a race. What a fun, fun time to go and watch an NASCAR race. I tell you what, Atlanta might be on my bucket list. Or not on my bucket list. I might be going next year. It's on my ticket list. So, um, But overall, fun race. We got the day started. Michael McDowell led him to green. Joey Logano had to start at the back. Now, Joey Logano, this is an interesting thing, started at the back for a safety equipment mal uh, manipulation or something of that nature. Basically, a mod modification. There we go. He modified his glove like this. If you open your hand up, it, it was like Spider-Man. It had webbing in between the fingers and stuff and definitely between the thumb and, and first finger. He was using it when he would put his hand up to block the wind. We've all seen the drivers do it. He had that, and that's probably what won him the pull at Daytona. Really, in a really neat ingenuity. The problem is it didn't catch up to him this time. And um, he would have to serve a pass-through penalty. Don't worry, he didn't lose any ground, actually. Probably got lucky-ish because of it. And, um, yeah, ends up coming out literally better than most of the cars that were in the back. So, Joey Logano, where's the golden, golden horseshoe? It's there. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Joey Logano had to drop at the back. Front row leads him to green. We'll get through uh, the wreck on um, the beginning of the race there. But here's your stage one results right over here. You see we got Michael McDowell up top. Ryan Blaney, Ross Chastain, those guys would be factors all day. So was Kyle Larson. I mean, these were the cream of the crop. These guys were all up front for a, m a good chunk of the day. Um, some of them did drop off late. Byron was involved in a wreck with McDowell later in the race when McDowell was uh, spun trying to get into pit road, spun into Byron uh, after locking up the rear wheels. And then uh, Todd Gilliland, uh, obviously we've talked about it a little earlier, but he did cause the crash on lap. I shouldn't say he, yeah, he did. He caused a crash on lap three. He, uh, he checked up, tried to let his teammate in line, uh, unfortunately, that stacked up everything and crashed a lot of good cars. I, uh, I say good cars. We don't even get to know. There was only three laps in. Uh, but Noah Gregson, Alex Bowman, Austin Dillon, there was a number of cars, Josh Williams, that just never got to see what they had because they crashed out so early in the race. Uh, but these guys all snagged their stage points in stage one. So Todd Gillen, those are huge. Ricky Stenhouse, those are uh, five, or four huge points for him. Those are guys that are probably going to be cut line racing, and if they don't get a win, those points are going to be huge coming down to the playoffs. Uh, so moving on from stage one into stage two, you can see Austin Sindrick snags the win in this stage, so a playoff point and 10 big, big uh, points towards the playoffs. Again, another guy I expect to be on the bubble. Suarez, his, we thought, I thought he'd be fighting on the bubble. Not anymore. He is locked in. 
Uh, but Todd Gillen, again, more points there to be, uh, you know, if he's on the bubble, Harrison Burton, Chase Briscoe, and Chase Elliott got a point. But that's all cars that I expect to be in the playoffs or bubble contending. I think Chase should be better than that this year, but we'll see. Um, so, yeah, that was the points of stage two. This stage actually ended under caution. Joey Logano uh, coming out of turn two in seventh place decides... He decides to clear himself, got tight as well, and ends up putting Chris Buescher in the wall and taking out uh, Denny Hamlin as well. Now, I, don't, I say taking out. All these cars finished the race, but it's it spun them all around or at least got them all involved enough for when the caution had come out, they dropped to the rear. That brought Chase Elliott up. He was not actually a factor in this front 10 uh, coming to the end of the stage. But Austin Cindric snagged the win. Ryan Blaney got third. Suarez fourth. Larson got his second, so big there. Uh, but now let's move on to the results. So uh, there we go. Got all the results on here. Daniel Suarez snags the win in an incredible three-wide finish there. Wow. I mean, just, man, what a race. A um, little bit of uh, bear bond on the hood. Should be a fun race win diecast. You can find those, by the way, at rasdiecast.com. I'll put that in the comments below because um, that's how to help support the channel. I don't do um, a ton of super chats. I don't do a lot of memberships, so I'm going to shout out my uh, website for diecast. Obviously, you guys know all the diecast reviews. That's what I have always done. Um, but we're trying something new, and we'll see if that helps with uh, the diecast site as well. So, um, yeah, lots of pre-orders still available over there, but you can go check it out, rasdiecast.com, in the comments below. Uh, anyway, those are our results. Ricky Stanhouse with a good top ten, Bubba with a top five, Cendric, Bush, Blaney, and Suarez, obviously, as our winner. Kaz Grala, 14th in that Rick Ware card. That's impressive. Uh, Corey LaJoy was able to come back and finish 13th. He was involved in the wreck with Brad Keselowski and Kyle Larson. Um, that took both of those guys out of the race. Um, you can see the guys out of the race. Josh Williams, Noah Gregson did continue, but then did pull back off later in the event, and that did finish his day. Uh, Zane Smith, I can't remember. I remember him crashing or having an issue. I think he broke a toe link or something and um, ended up pulling in. Uh, Christopher Bell, obviously another accident uh, victim as well. Um, but basically the top 20 above, all, I think everybody from Reddick, maybe Barry Up, was on the racetrack at the end of the race. But, so it'll say 30 cars finished, only about 20 of them were actually competitively in the race. Um, so yeah, those are our results there though. Really good, fun race. Uh, Daniel Suarez locked in the playoffs. That's huge. That's a spot that Last year wasn't available. I mean, he he was kind of far out, uh, far enough out of the mix that uh, didn't have a chance to get in. Him getting in this year, that's that's a wild card winner right there. Um, so yeah, Daniel Suarez gets that win. And just remember, next time they're at Atlanta, it's going to be the playoffs. It's going to be important. So big win for Daniel Suarez there. And uh, I believe our point leader might be Bubba Wallace heading into next week. So first time 2311 has been on top of the standings and Bubba Wallace as well. So um, anyway, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up. Uh, our reaction from Atlanta. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts on this race were, and um, we'll talk about it in the uh, comments down there for that as well. <laughs> so, um, but I'm interested to hear what do you guys think? Should Atlanta stay on the schedule as is? Because I think they're going to get both their dates pretty much in cement from now on. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you tomorrow with our next 